What's going on guys? We are on the grind tonight. Another video for you on Vault Inu. Let me take a look at what's going on and the huge announcement they made yesterday which could absolutely send this price into the stratosphere. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for all your daily cryptocurrency content and let's jump into it. So look, Vault Inu up 18.65% of the time we're recording this video. 11.28 is the price with five zeros, 75 million market cap, 336k volume, which actually is booking the trend to what we've seen a lot of projects. We've seen quite a significant pullback in terms of volume going through some of these tokens and liquidity at over $3 million. So a pretty solid set of numbers as it was for Vault. Now we have seen up 18.65% on the day. And we saw obviously a huge correction alongside the absolute crypto market going down. We saw Bitcoin drop to 30K. We've seen ETH drop at 2,200. We are seeing some bit of resilience. We are starting to see some moves towards the upward side. So Vault is absolutely taking its market share. Like I said, at the point of recording this, 18.65% up on the 24 hours. So what have we had that is kind of making people Vault uh, and people bullish about Vault? Well, look, we got this announcement. We don't care about the bottom, but we only focus on the top. That's why we could only schedule our biggest ever vault burn at a new ATH. As soon as we reach the new ATH on the ETH chain, we will burn a million dollars worth of vault, 500k on each chain, which is a huge amount. I mean, you've got to really think about that is a gigantic amount, particularly now, given the fact that the token supply is a lot smaller after the V2 migration. But 500k on BNB, 500k on ETH. Again, you look at the chart, it's not that far away. I think ATH would have been, you know, 3612, so it needs to um, get a little bit of a wriggle on. But look, you're probably only looking at $150 million market cap. 170 million dollar market cap it's not even that big so i think when we see a bull market start to really ramp up and people start to come back in you've got to remember vault have got a lot of utility coming they've obviously got the main vault which is stacked full of nfts and tokens and shares i did a couple of videos on that if you want to go and check them out they are in the playlist labeled vault so look that isn't that far and then a burn a million on top of that it's going to send the kind of token into hyperdrive i think certainly at that point we will see some sales that's absolutely um going to happen if we're going to burn a million dollars at that bit but that is a huge amount to burn and you know you can see here look jerk gagan is you know holy shit let's go lots of people absolutely super bullish pablo crow there and he did a brilliant live stream last night just really talking about the good things with vault and what's going to come and you know look it's going to shake some people out this whole market is shaking people out right now but when you've got projects like vault that do look like they are booking the trend have utility that sits behind them and have a lot coming out then if you're holding vault you're probably best off holding it for a bit longer. Again, none of this is financial advice. You make your own financial decisions. But certainly what am I doing? I'm holding my vault tokens because I think we are going to see some very big moves. Certainly if we're you know, putting a million dollars on the table, you know, I would argue and say it's going to get there. Part of that, BitTrue, another listing. 19 centralized exchanges now vault is listed on. 4.8 billion vault reward. It's about 6K. Um, so, you know, not the biggest amount in the world, but look, the fact of the matter, it's there. It's another listing for Vault V2 and certainly will support the volume going through. And you've got to remember, big exchanges want volume. Now, we are waiting to see what's going on with the crypto.com. We were expecting some news today that we haven't got, but look, I'm still bullish on it. I still think it's coming. All this, we're not seeing any other token right now listing on as many centralized exchanges as Vault you know, V2 is. We're certainly not seeing volume like we're seeing going through uh like we're seeing on Vault Inu V2 as well. So it all kind of feels like it's building up to a crescendo. They're putting a million dollars on the line once they get back to an ATH. You don't just do that if you don't think anything's going to happen. So certainly it feels like there is stuff in the pipeline. It feels like it's on the move. The chart, like I said, looks challenging, as does the entire market. You can see a lot of the tokens here, you know, from 16, nearly 17% in Saitama, up to BTFA at nearly 22%. So it is ranging as the market starts to recover. We can kind of just take a quick look at the total global crypto market. We're down 2.63%, drop below 1.4 trillion. Bitcoin is really testing that 30k level and at ETH a drop. We did see a little bit of a bull market start but it does look like it's been squashed so we're gonna to have to wait and wait and see it's gonna be a really interesting week as we go into the weekend i think the cpi data that's going to come out over in the us tomorrow could signal a you know further trend downwards could be a real buyer's market let me know in the comments down below what you're doing about vault and i'll see you guys in the next video